thought we played really well. It was, it was, uh, it's, you know, we, we talked about soccer's an interesting game. There's always a lot of complaints about uh, that they're so close. And, 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 and I, I mean, it could have easily been instead of coming out of their 0-2, it could have been 2-0. and So I think if you look at it um, closely and, and, and how, did, how, how did we play, I thought we played extremely well against two excellent teams. Both, you know, it's kind of a a home game for Indiana as well. They're, they're always the partner for the tournament. So we, so we knew we were going into a challenging situation. I mean, the hope was to come out of there, you know, with a win at, at a minimum. So in that sense, you know, you, you're disappointed, but you're proud of the guys. I, I think it's a, a different team than the team we had last year. We have a little bit more... Uh, the more edge to us, the more maturity, and and just didn't uh, you know get the bounce. We created the opportunities. the the the, the Friday game against Indiana was a, a tough one to swallow, and that it was a pretty even game statistically. I think we had the better of the scoring opportunities. I think we probably had six decent looks, you know, at the goal. I think they had one. Um, and then just a, a real disappointing call at the end to, to determine the match with 30 seconds left. And, and it's hard to tell from the video. I mean, whether or not it was, in fact, a handball, I, I'm sure it hit him in the hand. It wasn't an intentional handball. But it was just a real disappointing way to, to end a, a very well-played match against a top team. So, you know, moving forward from that, game you know our, our guys our guys handled it really well and, and then Sunday Notre Dame you know a top 10 team it was it was challenging in that there was uh, a weather delay it was originally a 2 p.m. kickoff it didn't kick off till six o'clock but man I thought our guys really handled it well and and and, and we played we played very very well and, and, and statistics can be manipulated but uh, not on Sunday. I mean, we outshot them 18 to 6, and I think the corner kicks were 13 to 5. So the, the game was played in their half, and uh, we didn't finish our chances. You know, they got a, a penalty kick. We, that was probably the only real opening we gave them was the, 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 the foul that we committed in the first half, which they scored. So it was. Uh, from a record standpoint, it was a real disappointing weekend in that there was an opportunity that was kind of wasted, um, an opportunity to beat real top-level teams, and, and, and I thought we matched them. Um, in terms of the growth and what you take, I mean, you, you clearly take some confidence in terms of I think it validates that, that we're a very good team based on scoring goals. Um, we were resilient. We dealt with some adversity. So there's a lot you can take from it. It's just it's a, it's a tough uh, pill to swallow when those are your first two games of the season. But, but we knew that when we were going to play this kind of opponent. You knew you're putting yourself in that situation. Have no regrets and, and, and uh, you know, hope to continue playing teams of that level. So I'll be excited for this weekend to play a real good Northridge team on uh, Friday, built very different than these last two teams. You know, real kind of high tempo, attacking, skillful team. Be a much different matchup than these two teams, which were very physical, organized. Um, but I think we're excited for the challenge. Was it the right call on Friday? Yeah, I don't, you know, it's just not worth even guessing. I, I, I'm trying to visualize that. I think it's a harsh call in that. A shot hit him in the face, and then it bounced down, and there was a rebound, and I think he kind of just reacted to protect his face. And really, that's not the intention, but uh, I, I can't. You're cool about it now. No, I, I, well, you couldn't, because I, th I, I think I've been around it enough that, uh, first of all, you can't change officials' calls, not at least in soccer. 
So you, you, you ask of yourself and you ask of your team that you say you try not to put yourself in those situations. And that's in any sport. You don't want officials to dictate the outcome. And, and I think in any sport when you say, well, there was one call that had significance at the end of the game, that's up to the team to, to allow one call to be so instrumental. So I, I don't can't look at it that way. You know, if we had taken care of our business, we had taken a couple of our chances, which we had, we, it, it would have been, uh, you know, a moot point. So that's something we got to take care of, you know, not leave, not leave opponents any openings. What was the plan on Sunday? Uh, we kind of had a, they played an entry ball, a guy sk skipped kind of across, beat one defender and the second defender stabbed at it. It was, you know, he, he made a mistake. But, um, well, I mean, what can you say? Guys make mistakes. It wasn't in the right spot. But, but that was a game where we had a lot of good chances against good teams. And uh, you got to move forward pretty quickly. You know, you got 17 games. You don't have that many opportunities to knock off, you know, highly ranked opponents. So that's... Uh, a disappointment, but Are they wide open misses. No, no, not just tap ins, but good chances. I mean, I think when soccer we kind of say half chances, you know, like where you should make them half the time or get it, make the keeper make a real good save, and we didn't do that. Well, he made a couple good saves. They made one big time save, but I think it's a good team and and uh, a lot of heart. It'll be a real. Uh, you know, testament to our guys if we just can rebound really well. You know, we're healthy. So we're we're going to lose a kid for Friday's game, a kid, Matt Constant. He got called in with Canada's under-20 national team. So he's going to be away for a few days down in Costa Rica playing some matches. But uh, I think we have good depth and, and uh, exciting to play at home. Well, Americans always tend to... I'm going to mess with the rules of the inside and get rid of the outside rule and get rid of the shootout. Am I able to move the penalty spot back? Are, are you a purist on, on such matters? I mean, there's a lot of little things you could manipulate, you know, but really penalties are, are mistakes in really bad areas and you are punished for them, you know, and you should make those. So it's, I mean, that's after the fact. You know, we shouldn't, we shouldn't have put ourselves in a situation where we allowed those or where they had the effect on the game. So I don't, you know, I, I don't really view it that way. I think that could change things. But, but then as much as people complain that it's low scoring, it might be lower scoring. So, you know, I think six, one and a half dozen the other. You know, despite losing, you were saying how uh, you guys played really well. Mm -hmm. um, with that said, did they exceed your expectations or did, or did they play? I think it was ball? unknown. I think, I, I, I feel we have a very good team. But, you know, until you play those level of opponents, it's hard to measure yourself. And, and all that being said, there's not many moral victories. You know, you can only have so many moral victories. And, and whether you had lost, uh, got totally dominated and got beat or, we're real even and, and got beat by one. It's still for your record. It, it's the same thing for the RPI where we want to be as a, a team. You know, it, it, it doesn't really help you. But but our <coughs> but our guys are are good with it. I think they've dealt with it quite maturely. It's just a, a pattern that 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 can't uh, you know establish itself. It's got to be some real good results here at home. You say you had 17 tries. Notre Dame had six. 18, That's 18. Does that say you're a good defending team? You know, we've yet to give up a goal in the run of play. So the only two goals that have been scored against us this season, you know, were from, uh, well, penalty kicks, you know, dead balls. So I, th I, I think we're very good defensively. You know, we, we're mature about it. Um, Goalkeeping's good. I think we're pretty solid. And, and I think we're a team that creates chances. Yeah, but you got to score goals to win goals. Yeah, I mean, to win games. You know, that's just, that's the reality. And, you, and for us, you know, I'd rather win 5-3 than one nothing. I mean, this is a team that's built on attacking. So, 
it's, it's a bonus to be really good defensively, but uh, yeah, we got to put the ball in the net. But yeah, you know, I'm proud of the guys. They went into uh, you know one of the premier tournaments against two of the premier teams in the country. They're they're never in awe of anybody. They expect to win. They handle themselves professionally, courteously. You know, you always get compliments when our guys travel. How. Uh, you know, mature they are and how good of representatives they are. So, you know, I'm, I'm real proud of the guys. So for their sake, you know, you want to see some, uh, you want to see some wins, which I'm confident of. How about the passing? Yeah, pretty good. It's a good team. No, I mean, it's a good performance. So, you know, you kind of get over this one. It still hasn't, you know, takes a while you know I just got home an hour ago after you know we, we played in South Bend and we spent the night in Chicago so we got into Chicago real late at night had to get up this morning you know we rent vans and stuff so you have to get gas you have to return the vans it's a it's a long trip it's a long trip but it sure is nice here when they have good food here and you get a chance to get something to eat so uh, it was nice but thanks a lot. Thanks for all the coverage. It's a great group of guys. And um, we're going to quickly refocus. I think it's going to be a great game Friday night, home opener. Thank you.